guys, back home, back in the apartment. And maybe it's just me, but I just feel like my Canon, the one that you're on now, my G7X, just does not look good in this apartment. For some reason, it just doesn't do my skin tone. It doesn't do anything. Justice. It just looks like really washed for some reason. So I'm going to switch you guys out to my M50 with the Sigma lens. I haven't used this lens in so long and it's dirty. The lens cap wasn't even on. This isn't great, but it's better. Anyways, we're home. I look a mess. I feel a mess. I've been really, really sick under the weather with allergies and I'm still a bit like nasally, but we're home and you know what that means. Back to business as per usual. And I'm actually quite shocked at the state in which I left this apartment. Like it is actually a flipping mess in here. And I actually forgot how I really thought I was coming home to a clean, serene space, but no, we're gonna have to jump right back into a Octavia B get your life together routine. Like immediately i have groceries on the way so we're gonna do a little grocery haul a grocery restock um i have pr packages you guys we're gonna jump into that first and foremost i'm not even gonna like do too much talking but sorry for my absence i've been really really sick and still really am sick i mean i'm sweating profusely i, I my one on one of my ears is like still blocked <laughs> and I'm trying to angle you guys so you're not really seeing a lot of the mess that I have going on because I'm a little bit embarrassed and I usually don't get embarrassed for things, but I am because I'm so shame. All right, let's get to some unboxing. And if you see me looking over here, the viewfinder on this camera is different. So um, yeah, forgive me. one is from Ami Kole. Ooh, they sent me some lippies. This is a Mason Margiela. It's the, what is this? Okay, it's the, ooh, the Lazy Sunday Morning Diffuser. Oh my goodness, it's the little sticks. Okay, that's so cute. This next one is from YSL Beauty. This, but it looks nice. It's big. What is this? Oh my gosh, guys, look. I'm gonna put this over here too. It's scented. Love. Oh wow, I'm so spoiled. It's like insane. bum bum creams which i literally was going to get because i don't have any body stuff here the body oil oh the body scrub and the body oh wow no oh, oh my guys this is like a gua sha for your body okay yeah it's on so they sent me all these things Okay, my groceries are here. I got some bananas. I got some mangoes, because these mangoes are in season and they are pretty good. They're called the Al Tufo, and I'm happy he got the ones that are green, so I don't have to rush to eat them. I got some chicken bone broth. I've been cooking with soy sauce a lot lately. Like I use it to season my meat, 
and soups. I also got some ginger. And I also got some chicken bouillon because the thing that I'm gonna be making this week is like a soupy thing. I just got two onions here. I think this is ice cream because you guys know I like to do my own grape nut. So I bought, yeah, vanilla bean ice cream. Is this what I use to make my grape nut ice cream now? And it's so delicious. Kale. I got a little vegetable mix for um, pad thai, but I'm not gonna make the pad thai. I'm just gonna use the veggies, that come in it and put in my meal prepping kit. Rotisserie chicken. A tray of eggs, turkey bacon, um, eggs, and then a pepper for when I wanna make an omelet, if I make an omelet. These are good for the gut. Of oat milk. And then I just got this Starbucks like light blonde coffee. veggies, turkey bacon, brown rice at the back, um, these little juice things, and um, um, my rotisserie chicken. And down here, just like very few veggies. So yeah. showered and moisturized. I got some PR, um, the Sol de Janeiro body oil in PR. Sorry, I'm gonna close the store because I know that AC is loud. Got that in PR and I'm like really loving it. Like it looks so nice, but I'm just allowing it to soak in. But yeah, I'm really excited to be going to an event. It's been a while as you might already have figured. Um, but I really wish I was wearing an outfit that I was really confident in because, and um, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. I'm gonna go in with primer. I don't ever wear primer. I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys know this, but it's so hot in New York and it's like gonna be 86. And I don't know, like it's been a while since I've done my makeup in hot weather. Yeah, fun day, fun day, fun day ahead. Um, I did invite Renee to this event, but she actually has an appointment at 10.30. The event starts at 11, so I was like, you know what, girl, don't worry about it. I'll go handle your business. Um, we can kiki after. So she's probably gonna come meet me um, for lunch in the city. But also, it's one of those days where, because I'm not so confident in my outfit, it might be just an event and come back, oh my God. Made it to the toast at the top of the building. It's 12:34 now. Um, oh. Stunning. It's my plus one for the day. Hey yeah. y'all. We're just gonna. We're just here cheersing, and we're about to. Oh. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay guys, so we stopped for a little lunch at the Osteria Del Bianco. We're still on the like Fifth Ave area. Allergy flare up, don't mind my eyes. But still here. We're having so much fun just like oh like chatting and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. literally every single day if I go outside like oh let me go for a little walk you know get some fresh air because I'm always in the house I swells up so yeah, I went to the city for the event I wasn't even vlogging because my eye was just irritated the entire time I know you guys saw it while I was out for lunch um anyways I, I showered I like to sh I shower like two to three times a day you guys because after I, each time I go outside I feel like I have to shower in fear that there's pollen like in my on my clothes and i don't want to bring that kind of like pollutant like in my bed you know what i mean so but i'm showered and i have my little cross body bag on because renee's actually coming um we're gonna go grab like a really quick like snack like tacos or something i haven't seen her in a while so um although i've eaten already i'm just gonna like go grab a little thing with her I'm going to wear these sunglasses. I feel like because they're like brown, it should be okay for like, <laughs> no, I just don't want to go out and then anyone like, thinks I'm like being rude, but also like who cares, right? I'm polite to like have your sunglasses on like at a dinner table, but um, <laughs> so if you guys see me in this exact same outfit out in public and then you see this video, like, you know, it was one of those days. Okay. Hey guys, happy Sunday. So it's about 9.30 right now. I'm up and dressed, well, kind of. I have a hoodie and leggings on. But today's a day filled with like appointments and I really wanted to be comfortable. I'm gonna go to the Tox New York to just get a lymphatic drainage massage. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that today because I, the past few days I've been cleansing. So I've been on like detox, so just drinking lots and lots and lots of water. And then I'm just gonna pop into Zara. We do need to return a bunch of things to Zara. And I'm just gonna go get my nails done. I do have like my nails like just short and square. Um, if you've noticed in the video in the beginning, I had like creamy white nails. They were like almond. Well, they one of them broke and I just cut them all down. <laughs> so I could at least look presentable for um, the event that I had to attend. Um, I might stop by Trader Joe's too for some like some easy snacks to like have. Primarily the soup dumplings. I love having those. I'm just gonna go do what I need to do so I can come home, finish up editing, upload this video for you guys because I'm sure you guys are wondering like, are you okay? You haven't been here in a while. Fragrance of the day. I've been loving this one lately. I'm home and as you can see I still have the Zara bag I did not get a chance to return them um, who told me to go outside today on a Sunday the city is packed I mean bumper to bumper 
tow to heel back traffic it's just a lot a lot so i was like you know what let me come grab my yard um we will try again tomorrow where zara is concerned but i decided to kind of like push through in sephora despite the light being the line being so long because um the sephora and soho like not only do they have the registers like they have people on the floor with like the phone like so they can charge you if you're done you just pay like wherever you are in the store so i'm happy about that and then they also stopped into like majuri but yeah let's do a really quick sephora haul because i actually wanted to show share with you guys what i got from the sale because it's still going on and i want you guys to be able to shop these things if you're inter interested and you're waiting for the sale to start for you let's do a really quick haul first thing i picked up was the sol de janeiro um this is the radiance body mist so I've tried the original, like the orange one, which I also got in PR when I got home. Um, and then I've also tried the Beja Fleur, like the rose, the pink one. Love those, they're cute, but I never smelled this one before. And then when I smelled it, I was like, this one might be my favorite. This is the Radiant, I don't really know. Wait, what's in it? So it has tuberose. All right, so it's a solar scent that combines white florals, creamy coconut. Okay, that's what I'm smelling. It was giving like very vacation, Caribbean. I feel like when my Caribbean girls are going to love this one. If you love a little coconut -y, like pineapple, pina colada, but white floral, kind of smell you're gonna like this and i feel like i also want to spray it so i can like refresh my memory because i kind of forgot like the feeling it gave me when i sprayed it because that's important when i'm a uh, when i'm shopping for fragrances i not only focus on the smell itself i like to focus on the feeling it gives me because scents connects to like memories for me so Oh, yes. Yes. This is actually like really good and I'm shocked that no one's talking about it. But then again, not everyone has good taste. But my Caribbean girls, you're going to eat this one up. All I'm going to say, my, my tip for you is whether you lo lotion with like cocoa butter or like put on a little oil, a little cream first. And then put this on. Oh. It is so <laughs> hold on. Maybe I'm maybe maybe something's going on, but I just feel like no, this is too good. Oh, this is so good, you guys. Try it, try it, try it. Next up I got the Cosali Vino Fresh Deodorant. I'm in a little transition where deodorants are concerned um, because um, I love the one that I'm using, but also I'm still shopping around, you know? So this one's by Quadzali. And this has like a very like eucalyptus y minty smell. So I actually have um, the rose scent, and I've also tried the orange, and I've also tried the. Wait, I've, I've tried the Seville orange, I've tried the Madagascar vanilla, and the Turkish rose. So I actually got PR from Nest a while back, but at the time, I, well, I still have one left, but I do, I did give them to Re, and because she loved them. But as I was in the store today, I discovered the Indian Jasmine and the Balinese Coconut Perfume Oil. And because those two scents, I feel like are gonna complement this so well. And one thing about me, I love creating my own perfume concoction so a lot of the time when i'm wearing a scent is because i kind of created my own thing it's always a mixture of body cream and i'm going to be using the sol de janeiro um, cream that we got earlier this week plus this plus the oil yeah yeah let me stop being dramatic because i just i know you guys are like girl i know it's not that good i'm gonna go try it <laughs> Okay, this next one is a liquid balm. It's by Givenchy Beauty. 
and this is what the packaging looks like she tried this on me in stores it was really pretty i really thought it was very very gorgeous and i love that it was also a plumper because my favorite plumper here is by clarence i love this but it is really like a oily kind of like gloss it's not like a lip product whereas the reason why i got this is because it's basically like a lip oil right but it's also a plumper and it also has a little pigment you know what i mean it reminds me of the booksum next up i got the Givenchy prism libre this is the four powder like thing so after you've done your makeup this powder is going to kind of like make sure that everything is like seamless by color correcting um, it's gonna you are able to use it under your eyes but also on your face so it's like a one like thing like a powder it comes with its own poof I, w I was told but I've, I've seen this a lot online I've seen this a lot a lot so my sales associate when she told me that she uses this and she's a black woman she has the same tone as me um, and she's also a licensed and also has her degree in like esthetician like something so she was saying that she likes Givenchy because they focus on skincare you know so all their makeup has skincare benefits so I was like wow I didn't know that and that's something to consider moving on when I buy makeup it needs to have skincare infused so it needs to be a brand that cares about the health of her skin because you know makeup is cute but when you take it off you don't want your skin to be battered up and you know look crazy um this next one is the Givenchy concealer which she also thought was really really good and it's a skin caring concealer um so that you know cares about your skin and this is what it looks like and I also got their foundation, which she really spoke highly about. I've actually purchased this foundation before, but I feel like my, my, my color just wasn't, it didn't look good. But then she was like, why don't you try out the matte? And I was like, I don't really like my makeup matte. And she said, well, you know, your makeup is never going to be like casket, like matte. Matte just means it's not like dewy and oily, but it won't be drying. So we wore it in the store and it wasn't drying and it really changed my mind on matte foundations. What is this brand called? Westman Atelier, um, another clean beauty brand that also I feel like I've seen everywhere. Um, this is a contour stick. I've definitely needed a contour stick in my routine for ages now, but the one that I was using was from Makeup by Mario, which I feel like requires like so much blending and so much work. And let's just be honest, like my makeup skills aren't advanced. They're not. So I, you need to find a really good contour stick that's blendable, that's easy. So I have this one for, by Westman Atelier. The one that she recommended to me was by the brand called Merit. But I've tried the Merit one before and I just feel like it was just... It's, it's very light and like very soft, and I, but I feel like it disappears after a while. So I decided to just go against her recommendation and just get this one by Westman. Is it Westman? Yeah, Westman Atelier. It's not a lot of product. It's very, very little product for the price, but you literally don't need, need a lot. It's like a little goes a long way. So I did get this. Or is this the mini size? Is this like the full size product? <laughs> and I got it in the shade Ganache. Ganache. And then next up I got this scalp and body scrub by Way. I've been loving Way lately. As you guys prob probably saw, I have the body wash and the body cream, which I love. But I wanted to try out their scrub in a smaller packaging just to kind of see how I like it. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good and guess what it's gonna pair well with I'm not saying nothing and then finally from Sephora I got the Dior backstage eyeshadow palette 
and I got this one here. And I got this one because you guys know me, right? I always use my blush on my lids and this is the exact shade of that. I'm also been very curious about peachy tones on my complexion. Ever since I did the try on blush haul with the Charlotte Tilbury like squeezy sticks, I, I the peach looks so good on me. I was like, you know what? I've been kind of like shy, shying away from peach tone, like shadow blushes for a long time. So I did like the, the peachy orangey tones in here. And I also love that there was a chocolate brown shade in here too for when I want to put it inside inside my crease. Um, I love that there was, I love that they include like a little, this is a creamy, cream to powder type of shadow right here. So it's perfect for like a base. You know what I mean? Like perfect for like a base. And then they have like the more like skin tone brown and then a tan brown, perfect for like a transition. So I felt like this was a really good like palette for me especially because it has all the tones and shades that I like and wear. I picked up from Majuri. I just popped in really quickly because I've wanted a certain ring for a long time. And of course, when I got in there, I got to shopping. So these are the items that I picked up. I'm gonna link them, they link them down below for you as well. So this is the ring ring I went for. I just love the chunky vibe of this ring. I really love that look. And I just thought, you know, it'd just be like stunning, you know just on on the finger solo or stacked with other pieces I also got this like really thin ring like it's so thin but the person that was helping me in the store today she had it on her like thumb and I was like wow I never thought to wear rings on like my thumb before but it was like so adorable and just so cute and I was like you know what let me get it and just to kind of match with my ring I got these little cuffs All right guys, let me share with you how I make that mason jar meal prep that I told you about. So this is the mason jar. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of my bone broth. This is the Pacific Foods bone broth um, chicken. I go in with some soy sauce. Not too much. Well, you can use the chicken like bouillon cubes um, the grocery store didn't have any when I was shopping, so. Um, this one says it's better than bouillon. That's the name of it. I think I'm gonna do about that much. This actually smells so good. Ginger paste. I'm gonna do about, yeah, that's good. I just put a lot, but. So I'm gonna be adding a little like spicy. This is like chili powder. Um, you don't need to do this, but I just prefer, like, I like my food hot, so. Go in with some rice noodles. Then you're gonna take some veggies. Just gonna push the, ne the noodle to one side. I'm gonna add our chicken there. Um, we're using rotisserie chicken, which I recommend that you do as well because it's just easy. So when you're ready to eat it, you're basically just going to add some water. Okay, it's much better. Better than this, but it's really, really yummy. I love the broth, and um, yeah, let me go eat. Okay. Okay, so let me go finish up my vlog and get this uploaded for you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you. I might upload a vlog like midweek or something. 
depending on what I get up to. I'm gonna start like putting things into boxes now so I can just get back to the house because, so yeah, I might vlog it. Why not? You guys saw me move into this place, so you might as well see me move out. <laughs> All right, but I'll see you guys next week, okay? Bye.